So yeah, but first of all, like, yeah, thank you for, for being here. to just, I want to do a cleanse. I know it's no ideal this time of the year. I agree. It's too cold to be doing raw and to be doing all these things. And, um, but unfortunately my lifestyle has been crazy. It's been, I used to do this with my ex-wife two, three times a year. Uh, and I, I love doing it. Um, and I haven't done one in two years, which is kind of crazy to me, which is why I wanted to do a bigger one. I wanted to do 21 days. Uh, and I'm currently have, I feel grounded in the space that I'm renting right now. So I was like, I'm just going to take advantage of it. If nobody else wants to do it, I'll do it alone. I wanted to offer it to the sold out community. And it seems like a lot of other people got excited to do it. Um, and as Jillian will talk more about this, but it is choose your own adventure. If you don't want to do seven days of fasting, of just water, don't do that. If you want to do juices, if you want to do more soups and broths and stuff like that, you could do that too. If you want to participate just for a week, there's no, it's, it's a soft commitment. Um, and I asked Julian if she wants to do it and she jumped in and created this insane, I don't know, did you guys see the book that she made? <laughs> I mean, that was pretty crazy, Julian. That was, I'm, I'm really impressed with, with everything you did there. Um, and so just, just really quick, I mean, and Julian will talk about all those things, but it's awesome to do this together because I'll talk to you if you've never done this, but like, you know, cleansers tend to do bring up a lot of emotional stuff and it could be very hard. We get to meet ourselves. We get to meet really to me personally, it's my relationship to desire. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm desiring things. I never, I haven't desired in years, but because now that I can't have them, all of a sudden I desire them. <laughs> uh, so really, and having the support to talk to other people about that, it's just, so like it's a place where we really get to know each other. Uh, and we can play as much as we want. Like I would like to commit for myself again to do maybe yoga every day and meditate just to kind of support my, my process because movement's really important and all that stuff. Um, so I'm really grateful that we get to walk through this together. Um, and we get... We have the group, we could reach out there as much. Don't feel like you're bothering if you're sending too many messages for anything. It's meant for us to just really be there and support each other. And we can schedule as many calls as we want. And if someone wants to have a buddy that they check in with every day, you could do that too. Um, and yeah, and I'll pass it on to Jillian. Oh, and I also wanna, last thing I wanna say, and I'll say that in the end again. This was kind of my initiation. It was presented to the people of the church. Uh, and this is for fun, but um, I'd invite you to, you know, Jillian is a prof that does this for a living and leads people through these experiences for a living. Uh, and in the space, space of the church, if anyone wants to feel inspired to donate to her any amount, uh, I'm sure she'll be grateful for that, uh, to just support even what she's created uh, so far and really kind of leading us through this process. Um so I'll pass it on to you, Jillian. Okay, thank you. Um, this was totally your idea, Christian, <laughs> and um, kicked me into kickstarting a 21-day program, which I've, I've had like seven-day programs. I've led people through shorter programs. 21 days is definitely a longer stint and more of a commitment, but that's why it's kind of designed as a choose your own adventure. So you don't have to commit to the 21 days. You can do it for as much or as little as you want, um, but the opportunity is to just have the support of a of a little crew of people that are of similar mindset and can um, be moving through the process together. So that's kind of what it is. No pressure, but lots of opportunity. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just getting over a cold, which is why part of this is good for me because I want to get my immune system boosted. Um, and even though it's more challenging to do it in the colder weather, it's kind of great to do it in the colder weather because sometimes we need an extra boost when our immune system is more compromised and there's lots of stuff going around and things like that. So uh, so what is a cleanse? So a cleanse is basically an opportunity to give your body a break from toxins coming in and to kind of flood it with 
nutrients and um, and lifestyle shifts to support it in regenerating and getting uh, into homeostasis and running to its optimum capacity. So that's that's all it is. It's not like a magic bullet, like you're gonna drink this juice and everything's gonna change. But it's, it's the idea of um, taking down your toxic load, giving your organs a rest and letting them do what they're naturally wanting to do, which is get rid of toxins and then flooding it with all these nutrients that let you feel hopefully more energized, a lot better and cleaner, um, all kinds of different things, maybe drop some extra weight, all different things that could happen. Uh, some reasons people come into doing a cleanse, you know, everyone has their own reason. For me, my immune system's a little compromised now. And I also haven't done a cleanse in a couple of years because of COVID. And I was going all these wonderful exotic places to do cleanses and that stopped for a while. And I kind of got off the, off the program. So I'm excited to kickstart that again for myself. Um, if you're feeling very tired and you have a lot of fatigue, that could be a sign that you're got kind of some toxic overload if you're feeling like your digestion is sluggish and not moving as well as you'd like it to, or it's moving too quickly or it's not, you know, if it's not perfect, that could be a sign. Um, if you're carrying some extra weight, if your brain is foggy and you're not really thinking as clearly as you want, that's another sign. Things might be off in your system. Um, if you have bloating, if you have like skin issues, you know, toxins coming out in different ways, that might be a sign. And if you're dealing with any dis-ease, that's another you know, possibility that you might be having some stuff that you can get rid of that would clear your system and have you functioning better. So um, <laughs> like me, I'm in dis-ease a little bit. So I have some stuff to clear, <laughs> clearly. Um, I, wanted so how to, do we do I wanted to add one thing. Yes. Oh that you mentioned like for example losing weight uh, yes. that could also be very like um, a vulnerable process people sharing like oh i'm overweight i want to lose 10 20 pounds or um so again just we have the group here to support each other through these vulnerable i myself want to lose like 10 pounds um so we could share where we're at with losing weight and all that stuff and the, all these uncomfortable things come up really to support each other through this process and talk about it and share um, with other people. Yes. Yeah, that's the opportunity of doing it in a group with support. And, you know, share as much as you want or you don't have to share. It's totally up to you. It's not a prerequisite, but it is an opportunity to be supported. And, you know, losing extra weight is a great thing for your health because mm -hmm. a lot of times our body stores toxins as extra weight. Um, it's kind of a place to put the toxins. It stores it in fat cells. So it's great to be losing some extra weight. If you have a lot to lose, if you have a little bit to lose, that's a really healthy process and nothing to, you know, have any shame around. It's just what happens. It's We live in a very toxic environment. So there's lots of reasons that we uh, hold, hold extra weight as one example. Um, so how do we do it? So what we want to do really is lighten up our toxic load. That's like the step one. So that's part of getting rid of the things, like stopping the intake of toxins as much as we have control over is the first step in the cleanse. So what does that look like? What do we actually have control over? There's a lot we don't have control over in the environment. <laughs> Like, um, you know, chemicals, if there's smog in the air and there's chemicals in the air, we might not have control over that. If there's, if we're exposed to certain stressors, we might not have control over that. But there is things that we do have control over. One of them is food, what we're putting into our body. And now we have control over the food in as much as we are aware of what we're putting in our body. So some things are really basic, like, okay, Let's not do a lot of alcohol. Let's not do a lot of caffeine. Let's not do a lot of white sugar, refined sugars, um, processed foods, saturated fats, easy things for us to see that those are toxic and we don't want to have them in our system. Um, other things, food that's not organic, things that are sprayed with chemicals, pesticides, animal products that are given antibiotics, um, growth hormones, all these things 
they gather in our body, our body, when you ingest them, your body has to process them. And hope, you know, we have systems in place in our body to process the toxins, but we have so much toxins coming in. Sometimes we get on overload and that's when we, that's what we're trying to combat, get rid of the toxic overload that might be built up in our body. So food is a big one. This is largely a food-based cleanse, what we designed here, but, um, but there are other aspects too. You can look at other chemicals that you might be getting in your body from things you're putting in your hair, things you're putting on your skin, things that you might be exposed to. Like, let's say you had an exterminator come to your workplace. That's chemicals being sprayed all around you. All these things we can start getting more aware of and hopefully try and cut down our exposure to them. So using more natural products on our skin our skin absorbs things it's just like eating it um, and then what we are exposed to in our environment as much as we can control that right and then another big area is stress so stress can be really toxic you know sometimes it can interfere with your sleep sometimes it can interfere with your thoughts you can feel sick because of stress <laughs> so as much as we can <clears throat> control or combat the stress that we're exposed to we try and do that too. So some ways that you can control probably are how much media you're exposed to. That's an easy one, sort of easy, you know, saying, okay, I'm going to do a detox from social media. I'm going to do a detox from reading the news or listening to the news. Some of these things might be something that's within your um, ability to eliminate at least temporarily, if not forever, and, and take down your stress level. And then... <laughs> Other things in your environment you may have control over, like people that stress you out or situations that are stressful to you or toxic relationships. You know, you can kind of feel into those and see if you can distance yourself from some of them. Or if you cannot, then how can you mediate your own reactions to those things, especially relationship um, related stressors that you may not have control over in the workplace or in your family or whatever those are. So we can also look at uh, moderating our internal terrain and our thoughts so that we can eliminate those toxic um, stimulants as well. So <laughs> I'm sorry for the coughing. So those are some things. So that's how we, we kind of detox, right? So from a physical perspective, there's um, main areas that our body eliminates through is the kidneys, the intestines, the lungs, like me coughing up stuff, the lungs, the lymph system, and the skin. So those are all areas that your body uses to eliminate. Or And so we want to support that as much as possible when we're going through a cleanse. You know, you want to support that always in your life. But when you're going through the cleanse, and hopefully you're, you're eliminating toxins, your body's going to have an opportunity to release toxins that it might have been holding onto in other areas. And so how can we get them out of the system as quickly as possible and, uh, and help the body, like support the body? So fasting is one way to help that because we stop the influx of, um, of toxins and give your body a, and your organs a rest. We can also do things that stimulate the liver to detox um, and maybe some healthy liver support um, supplements like dandelion, uh, milk thistle, burdock. Those are some things. Vitamin C is also good. It helps um, produce glutathione, which helps the liver detox as well. So that might be some things you can do for your liver. Um, and then uh, improving the circulation is great because you, you want to get things out of your lymph system. So you're moving around helps uh, support your lymph system in getting rid of things. Um, also might help you with sweating a bit. So if you're moving, you might do a little bit more intense movement to help you sweat. Um, I think, uh, what else? Skin brushing is another one. That's one because we want to get things off the skin. So if you dry skin brush, it helps you remove the outer layer of dry skin off your, off your skin. And that's another way to get rid of toxins. Um, on page 18 is all of the book is a, a whole bunch of ideas. Sauna's on there. Um, sauna is great because it helps you sweat. Infrared sauna is especially good. It detoxes your organs from the inside out if you have access to that. Um, 
And also massage is really good. Massage helps with the lymph system as well. If you can't get yourself moving as much, you know, that is really a help to get a lymphatic drainage massage if that's available to you. It's like manually moving things through your system and out of your cells. So as much as you can, just figure out some ways to work this in while you're while you're doing the fasting or or just elimination diet or whatever you decide to do, how can you do some more supportive uh, practices during this time as well? And then um, you can also add in some other supplements that support uh, just your overall nutrition, like wheatgrass is great if you have opportunity to do that. Uh, chlorella, spirulina, moringa, depending on where you are, different things are more available. So that's great to add to your juices um, if you're if you're able to do that. Um, and it's kind of again to go into it, it's it's choose your own adventure kind of um, kind of a cleanse. So you can you can either do just uh, a what we're saying is just a raw food cleanse, which is just getting rid of all of the cooked food. You know, it depends on where your start point is, right? If your start point is, which I don't think it is probably for a lot of people in this group, but if your start point is you're eating McDonald's and drinking Coca-Colas, just eating more fruits and vegetables might be a cleanse for you, right? But if your start point is, okay, you're eating mostly whole foods, but you wanna take it to the next level, then how about trying to eat all raw food? just fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And then if you're good with that, how about taking it to the next level, eating blended foods. So lots of smoothies or green smoothies or savory smoothies. All these are, I gave you recipes for in the workbook. Um, and then if you're good with that, then you can take it to the next level, which is all juices. Juices is like removing all the fiber. So you're just getting... The difference between smoothies and juices, right? Smoothies are great because you're getting nutrient dense food. All of these fruits and vegetables blended up into one glass. That's gonna give you so much nutrients per calorie that you're putting in your body, right? So we are, we're striving for nutrient density. You might get that from salads if you're coming off a more traditional standard American or not American standard diet, but the next level is smoothies. And then the next level is juicing because juicing, you're even going to get more fruits and vegetables in one cup because you're removing the fiber. So the amount that you can intake in one glass is going to be even more nutrient dense, right? So that's flooding your body with even more. So throughout, no matter what you're doing at doing juices throughout the whole process is kind of like is super food for your body. It's super fuel and is really going to help the whole process along. And then if you really want to take it to the next level of, of, um, <laughs> of how strong you're going to detox, you can do water only. And water only is nothing coming in and just giving your bodies like a full rest and you'll detox faster. So the more extreme you get with how far along that continuum you go, the quicker and more intense your detox will be. So you need to calibrate that. Another thing you could add in, no matter which level you join at or choose to go into is sugar free. So we're gonna remove refined sugars anyway, but you might decide you wanna have not even any fruit sugar and just do kind of a candida cleanse and not do any sweet fruits or anything like that and just stay all green. So that's another level that you could go into too. So, so there's that whole um, kind of continuum of how intent you want to go with the cleanse and you can figure that out now the important thing is that you ease in and you get to your um well maybe you're going high get to your most intense point and then you ease out so whether you choose to do it for 21 days or just five days just ease in and ease out so you want to go in with the fruits and veg kind of whole foods to something a little bit less like just the smoothies, to something less like the juice, to something less if you're going to like the water and then come back out the same way to juice, to smoothies, to you know raw food and then a little bit of cooked food. So it eases the transition for your body. And <laughs> if you find that you're getting um, too much detox happening too quickly, you can always backtrack. 
So some symptoms of, of detox might be, you might feel tired. You might feel, um, you might have to eliminate really often. You might feel like, oh my gosh, I can't eliminate. I need to do something like take a little bit of herbal support to eliminate. You might feel like your skin is breaking out. You might feel like you smell different. You might, you know, it might not be good. You might feel like uh, you have a headache or you might feel really intense cravings. These are all natural processes of going through the detox. And depending on what your life is like and whether you are, you know, in a situation where you can go through that or you want to go through that, you can stay at that point. But if you need to come out of the detox a little bit and let up on those symptoms because you have to work, because they're too much, um, you just go back a little bit. So if you're in the juicing point and the detox is getting a little bit too strong for you, then just add in a little bit of, add in a smoothie. And if that doesn't help, add a salad in. If that doesn't help, add a little bit of cooked food, right? So you just backtrack to slow down your detox and you self-calibrate. You need to really tune into your own body and do what's best for you because this is a, this is a choose your own adventure. You're playing your own game. We have support, but you're essentially going to you know need to work with your own body and not go too hard too fast. Okay, um, and so that's that's how that's going to work. And then the last thing I want to share with you is um, just how to get started, right? And we talked a little bit about that. Uh, it's on page 26 is how to get started with the cleanse. But basically the most important thing is to get a plan <laughs> because it's a lot of work to change your whole lifestyle and to do a whole cleanse and to do all your juicing and do your blending and know what food to buy and don't leave it up to having to deal with it every day. The best thing to do is to get a plan. So first, Decide what you want to do. What is the cleanse you want to do? How long do you want to do it? How deep do you want to go? And then once you've decided what that looks like, you know, you can always modify it along the way, but come up with a basic plan and say, okay, for the first, let me get planned for the first four days. Or, you know, if you have like a Sunday, uh, we're going to start on Thursday, right? But maybe you're going to start on Saturday. I don't know, with your work schedule, whatever. Start on whatever day you're going to start. But you need to plan what day you're going to start and plan your menu of what you need to do for those days. So if you're starting with some salads, what do you want in your salads? Make your shopping list of those things. If you want to do... Um, some fruit bowls, if you want to do some smoothies, if you want to do some juices, plan them out, make your grocery list. You know, I'm assuming you already have the equipment because we sent out the book already. Get the equipment you need, plan your grocery list, and then go shopping and get everything you need for about four or five days. Now, things will stay fresh if you keep them correctly in your fridge, you know, your produce and things. There's different ways to store produce. You can YouTube that, um, but basically keep everything fresh in your fridge and then make as much as you can ahead of time so, so that you can automate because we all have busy lives. And I know we probably don't have like two hours to spend in the kitchen every day. So as much as you can spend, you have to block out a chunk of time to do some food prep and set yourself up for a couple of days. And that's what's going to be the best, I find, um, to have success is when I can just pull things out and eat it. And then I know what my days are, what my schedule is. I'm going to schedule another two hours on this day to plan for the next three days, but put it on a schedule, just like a job, just like if you were, you know, you have, this is your job is your self-care right now. So what I like to use, I don't know if I set, put the link for this in the, um, in the book or not, is I use these containers, these glass snapware containers, um, you can get them on Amazon. You need some sort of containers. Oh yeah, they are in there, those salad containers. So if you make your salads in here and you pack it in, air is the enemy. Oxidation is, is the enemy to food staying fresh. So if you pack it in and you can put all kinds of fun stuff, you can literally set up an assembly line, do three, three days of salads. It will probably even last four days in the fridge. And Put all your greens, put all your sprouts, put all your chopped carrots, all your cucumbers, all your peppers, all your exciting things that you love on your in here and have them in the fridge ready to pull out for three or maybe even four days. 
And then that those will stay fresh if you really pack it in. And then for juicing or smoothies, I love these containers. They're great. They have little, they have, they come with little silicon um, cozies to keep them from breaking so easy and to keep them cooler a little bit longer. They're not like thermal, but they're, but they're cool. They have these little fun handles and um, they come in 16 and 20 ounces. And I usually just get 20 ounces and I fill them with juice. So juicing is a process, you know, cleaning the juicer is a process. I don't care what juicer you have. It's still a thing. You have to clean all your vegetables and then juice them all and then clean the juicer. It takes time. And to do it every morning is a lot. If you have that time, more power to you. It's great to have the juices absolutely fresh, or maybe you have the finances to just go to a juice bar and buy fresh juices. But if you don't, you know, you got to do what you're going to do to be as successful as possible and, you know, make it easy for yourself. So I will make juice for two days, sometimes even three days in these containers. And if you fill it all the way to the top, that's the key, all the way to the top, no air. Then and so a lot and lemon also helps preserve your juice. So put a little lemon or citrus in there. That helps a lot. Um, these will be good for two days and three days is the max in the fridge for these, but then you have your juices made. Okay. And what you can also do <laughs> if you're really tight on time, and this is your only option is you can get plastic containers and you can freeze some juices and take them out the night before freezing will stop time is okay. Fresh is the best. Second best is put them in the fridge. Third best, freeze them and take them out. Better than not having them at all, right? And that's still better than the stuff you're going to get in the store that's cold pressed that sits there for like a couple of weeks or whatever it is. So um, so that's what you need to do. You cannot buy juices that are pasteurized and expect to get the same results. Pasteurized juice is cooked. All the enzymes are are not active anymore and it's not going to be good for your body. So don't do that. Um, you need to have fresh juices. Cold pressed is like your last resort, but if that's all you can get, then get that too. So you just need to find your dance with it. It's not the end of the world. Do the best that you can and that will still be good. Um, and that's it. So, so get yourself organized, get yourself prepped ahead of time and show up to the calls and ask for help when you need it. And the last thing is uh, on page seven. Um, so there's a lot of juice recipes uh, on in the book. They're really rough juice recipes. You can't go wrong. It's not like you need to measure a certain amount of cucumber, or a certain amount of apples. Just put it in and learn to make them taste good. You know, you, does this need a little more sweet? Does this need a little more juiciness? Does this need a little more zing? Put a little more lemon, you know, moderate, learn to learn to figure it out yourself. Things that are uh, water rich are going to give you the most bang for your buck, the most juice. So things like cucumbers give a lot of juice. Things like um, romaine lettuce gives a lot of juice. Things like green apples are low in sugar and give a lot of juice. You know, things like spinach don't give a lot of juice, but are good to throw in there as well. So, you know, look, bulk with things that give a lot of juice and are really water rich and then, you know, taste test and figure it out. But there are some juice recipes that, uh, at least tell you what's, you know, some suggestions so you can kind of vary it up if you're, so you don't get bored and say, oh, I'm making my tropical paradise juice today. I'm making my green goddess juice, you know, have fun with it. And it is actually really fulfilling um, and can be super tasty. Uh, so the last thing I'll go over is on page seven is you, you identify your goals. So what keeps you motivated as you move through this cleanse? It helps if you have a higher purpose and don't just try and bully yourself into, okay, I'm going to drink all my juices and I'm going to make this happen. And if you're not connected to your big why, it's hard to stay motivated. But when you are connected to a big why, what your goals are, what you're trying to achieve, then it's something you can come back to when you feel like you want to uh, not continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> so kind of take some time um, to do that at the beginning and come up with at least five things that are important to you that you hope to achieve. Maybe it's losing some extra pounds. Maybe it's, you know, getting a little more glow in your skin. Maybe it's having a little less brain fog. Maybe it's having more energy. Maybe it's, you just know it's good for you and you want to live longer. 
um, you know, whatever it is, put your, put your top five things down and take time to look at these every day, you know, in the morning, maybe even at night. So you can kind of get in touch with what's at stake for you and what you're doing it for. And um, just to kind of close out my portion of this is, is it's such a high form of self love to take care of your body. And it's, a, I find something that we can easily overlook because our attention can so quickly be out on so many things outside of us, whether that's family or friends or work or just taking care of what it takes to keep life going in a very busy, highly stimulating world that we live in. So it's wonderful to take time to just really drop in with yourself, do something loving for yourself and know that if you're not going to do it, it's not going to happen. And this is what we need to do to live really well in these one body that we get to have for our duration of time on a, for our soul journey here. You know, we, we owe it to ourselves to take as good care as possible. So that's about it. That's all I wanted to share. I'm happy to um, create space for anyone who wants to share what their goals are now, if you want to, or we can do that on another call. Um, and just if anyone has questions or stuff you want to add, I know that there's uh, people here who all have cleanse experience or, or might have more tips than I um, put out there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was awesome. So yeah, thank you. Brooke, I, I have a I have a question ish proposal. Mm -hmm. I I messaged you, Hershon. I don't know if you saw it or not, since you were working on that slide show. But um I'm just curious how you guys would feel about potentially letting Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday be the coming off of the other foods days and then starting on Monday. And there's two reasons why I'm asking this one is because I, I just had this trip that came up for the weekend. But the other reason really is I tend to really like to start cleanses on Mondays because it just feels like it flows with the start of my like work week. And um, I don't know, it just feels like a, a, a punctuated point that feels more aligned with the beginning of something. And so I first John, I think you said you already actually started. So maybe that doesn't work at all for, for you. And the other reason I'm thinking is just that there's not many people on here. And so if people need to like take time to listen to this and prepare for this, like as you said, Jillian, there's a lot of preparation that goes into cleansing. And so if people wanted to like actually start tomorrow, that would be really important for them to make sure they have like all of their fruits and veggies today and are preparing that so that they can get going in the morning tomorrow. And so, yeah, I'm just curious since, yeah, things moved around a little already, what you guys would think about that so or how that lands for you. Um, starting officially on Monday is what you're proposing? Yeah, like letting these next four days be like, people can listen to this recording, we, you know, continue cutting anything out of our diet that we haven't already, or maybe we have, but maybe others haven't. And then, you know, like people then can also use Sunday, let's say, to get all the fruits and veggies they need or whatever they're, they're going to be cleansing with to like, and prepare, use that time to prepare, which maybe everybody else who's doing it, if there is anyone else still doing it, maybe they've already done all that, or they're doing it today and planning that. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there as well, I would just say that you can do that. And and someone who wants to start, because I know at least one other person is starting tomorrow. Okay. So uh, that's the whole beauty of this is it's like, there is no structure that we all have to adhere to. It's okay, here's this container that starts to tomorrow and will go for 21 days and you drop in however you want for as long as you want, whenever you want but we have an opportunity to support each other. So some people might do, you know, might go into being a water cleanse at some point. Some people may just stay all raw the whole time and that's enough for them. Some people will start tomorrow. Some people will start in three days. That's totally cool. You know, some people will do it a week. Some people will do it 21 days. So wherever you're at. Um, uh, and, if, and if you want to start on Monday, anyone will have the 21 days. <laughs> uh I mean, yeah, we haven't, we're going to have, you know, the, we're not going to close down the group or anything. Um, if I feel inspired, I'll extend my cleanse for a few more days. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of half ass starting, as you can kind of see, yeah. not fast, but kind of. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some real food today, and um, uh, but real food. What do you mean by real food? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I take that back. This is the real food, my friend. No. Well, I can I can definitely start with a version of it tomorrow. I just my juicer hasn't arrived. It was supposed to be here by Monday. It hasn't arrived. I've contact them. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. <we're> so. Can... <clears throat> We can continue to support you and maybe some more extend and some people will join in later like yourself. So yeah. Um okay. All good. Start tomorrow. And you know what? I think that as soon as you decide to do a cleanse, you are in the cleanse. It's like you're already starting to contemplate, you're starting to become more aware about what you are eating, what you might stop eating, what other things might you want to cleanse from like it's it's a process and it, and even though we put it in 21 days you're going to do this thing really as you know i know you know that it's a lifestyle right it's like this is a reboot to being more mindful of how we're uh you know caring for our bodies and relating to how our you know what's coming into our bodies in, in relationship to what's in our environment at all times. So doing cleanses regularly, aside from the fact that they're really great because you go deep, is just a way to, um, to also become more mindful on a regular basis so that we can continue that throughout our entire life, you know? So it's, 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 it won't end, even though the container might stop but it will continue. Like the conversation will hopefully continue as well beyond. Sounds good. Um, well, I'd love actually, well, if we don't have it right now, but what's the first thing that's coming up for you um, of a one or two goals? Um, and also to invite us, including you know myself, which feels edgy to claim your in uh, your uh, plan for the cleanse, right? And obviously, with no sh shaming or doing wrong, but you know, if you, you know, like for right now, I want to commit to seven day only water, but I've never done a seven day fast, so that might be too much for me. And day five, I might be like, okay, uh, I might want to choose to back up. But it's it's good to call your intention. And as as Jillian mentioned, that might be too much for my system, and you might uh, you might want to back backtrack. Which again, there's listening to your body, and it's also calling out what you're committing to. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you have any any things like that you want to share, <clears throat> and I already mentioned, I want to lose some weight. I want to lose like ten pounds, um, maybe ten you know, even eight would, would feel really good. Uh, um, I do want to try to do seven days in the middle of, of just water. Um, so, and I'm doing it to, to really, I think the main that Jillian said is such a beautiful, uh, there's so many things about cleanses that I love, which is why I want to do it. Uh, one is such a beautiful way of loving yourself and loving your temple. Uh, but it's it's one of the best way I find it's like such a spiritual practice. You really get to meet the man or the woman in the mirror. It's just like, oh, you get to face all the stories, so much stuff stuff to come up and excuses and this. And uh, you really, uh, the places I've gotten to know myself <laughs> more than even sometimes even going to like a meditation retreat or something is, is fasting and just just get to be with myself and get to witness myself. Uh, and and I always love that I come on the other side, a non-new person, not only physically new person, that is I've cleansed a lot of toxins, but mentally and spiritually, I feel like I've had a, a main reboot. So knowing that I also want to commit to meditating more than I normally do and um, and spending more time in nature uh so these are these are the things i guess to be specific i want to lose eight pounds uh and i want to really use this time as a spiritual practice to really get to 
get to know myself and love myself on a deeper level. Um, and to do seven days of just water. So that's that's me. You guys want to share anything of what's in it for you? Oh, I was about to share, but oh no, it's not the it's not the tow company. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, I'll share. Um, for me, similar. I want. I would love to release ten pounds. Um, and I feel like that's totally attainable. Uh, I also want to do the seven day water with you, Christian. It's really interesting. You know, when you when you asked me at first if I wanted to do this together, and you mentioned the seven day water, I was like, wow that had a lot of resonance because I had literally been in conversation with a woman in Bali who hosts water fasts at a property that is like, Oh, it's a water property. So it's a, a natural spring property. And it's a, my girlfriend did it. And it's like supposed to be the most beautiful, serene place. And you people who go there drink the water from the spring for their whole water fa fast and also like are able to go into the waters and like, so immerse themselves in the waters. And then it's got all of this built in these offerings of like massage and um, movement and stuff like that. So I had been researching, you know, tickets and trying to figure out if I could pull it off financially to actually go to Bali to do this water fast before my 50th birthday, which is in March. So I kind of got to a place where a few other things came up and I was like, oh, I can't. So I'm just, when you mentioned it, Hrishan, I was like, yeah, perfect. So, oh, and so when she had, she asked me how many days I was feeling and I was like, well, I guess what comes up is seven. I'd like to do seven. And she said seven water day, uh, seven day water fast actually is like, there's different points you get to when you're water fasting, um, you know, starting with like, uh, physical release and detoxing, um, you know, the autophagy where you start to, the body starts to basically the toxins are stored in the fat cells and the body starts to like dissolve that. So the toxins release. And then anyway, she says seven days is actually a, um, God, now I'm forgetting it, a spiritual, um, release. Like it's, um, Release Oh, it's a releasing karmic material. So I was like, oh, that sounds pretty awesome. So anyway, that's my second thing. That's a long, long winded second thing. And then, um, yeah, I also am right there with you, Hrishan, about um, my meditation practice. So tuning, tuning that in a little bit more than it is right now and, and really getting myself to my, my altar each morning. Um, as a part of this, as a way to kick, kick start that practice again. And I'm already doing like a few days of, um, oh, kind of like a workout class. It's biomechanics. I'm doing that three days a week right now. And so I already feel really good in that area. Oh, I love it. That's me. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for sharing. Oh. <clears throat> Austin, I haven't said. Yeah, first of all, thanks so much, Jillian, just to really appreciate you putting everything together. And, um, you know, just, uh, it's so clear and all the benefits and all of that. I'm um, really, you know, just uh, beautiful to see uh, the breadth of your, your knowledge in that and also to experience you also, um, <clears throat> you know, in your home, you know, I'm looking at your backdrop and I, your backdrop, but this is your home, right? And uh, just appreciative that that I actually have that understanding and that that knowingness of you yeah, that this is what you do, watching you work your magic, talking on the phone with clients and all of that. And so I really feel really appreciative of all that. Um, I um, let's see, I am uh, how to say, I've been looking at this last last uh, twenty four hours, but what I realize is is that for me, I need to there's there's a quality of wintering that uh that i'm kind of going in emotionally you know that is it's uh you know and it's a time for me to continue to sort of work at the sort of the darkest time and uh and that the emotional work that happens during that time for me is also it feels a little bit challenged by the idea of doing a cleanse right at this moment and also i had an experience once where i was uh i was in i might have shared this 
Uh, I was living in Ojai for the time and I did a master cleanse with colonics and those sorts of things and then flew directly to Alaska and I was there, you know, and so what had happened to me is I lost 10 pounds and suddenly I was like freezing. And so when I got to Alaska, I was like eating as much meat as I could and getting as like much out like beer, like heavy stuff in me, like, which was the worst thing to do. Um, and, uh, and so for me, I think what I'm, I'm going to, you know, my sense is I'm, I'm going to start this maybe towards the end of February, because I don't, I want to be in a time where um, I'm matching, like I'm li- I'm allowing my sort of to shed while it's getting a bit warmer. Cause I feel like just the things that, you know, we also, we had a experience of having some things stolen from us recently. And so I feel like I'm in a rebuilding phase and it's just, you know, for me to start right now feels a little bit too much. And so um, I'm going to plan on doing that a little bit le- a little later on when it, when it seems to be more in line for me with the, uh, with uh, um, the warming, if that makes sense. So I wanted to not be on the call just to, just to, you know, to, to first of all, express my appreciation for you and the recognition, okay, this can do it. I just didn't, it didn't feel for me to do it right at this point in time. So. So you're not going to be joining us? I'm not going to be, yeah, I'm not going to be doing it at this time. Yeah. At right now, but I'm going to do it in one to two months, just depending on how, how that's looking. Okay. Well, thank you, Austin. I really appreciate the appreciation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I and I um, you know, of course, respect your choices. It sounds like you're clear, so that's great. And maybe we'll do another one in the spring, you know, because it is more of like a spring cleaning for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, I I really acknowledge you, Austin, for honoring what's true for you and to be you know being in tune with what your body is needing right now. And you, you weren't on the zoom yet, but we kind of, I spoke to this before you hopped on too, which was for me, I typically like to do, um, like more bone broths and stuff in the winter for my cleansing and, um, and, and save like the juicing for the summer. And so I just want to toss that out there to you is like, um, I don't know if you're a vegetarian or not, but, um, maybe consider if it resonates joining us, but with some broths, you know, whether it's veggie broths or misos or, or bone broths, but to be able to really give your body the, the break in the space, um, from the strong, like the harsh digestion, um, which could support where you're at as well, but then also being able to nourish it with the warm mineral rich, you know, nutrient density of the broths just throwing that out there as a consideration that's that's a great idea because i am you know part of this is 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 actually wanting to move out of a space of habit on some levels and at the same time having kind of the nurturing because like i said there's the physical component to it and um and then there's also the emotional component to it and so um but i yeah that's uh already starting to think about things of that sort in terms of broths and things that can kind of fortify yeah uh, time right now but i really appreciate that yeah and maybe it's not just broths maybe it's like different soups maybe it's you know broths that even have veggies in it or <clears throat> um you know like vegan broccoli cre- creamy broccoli soups but vegan or you know just like things like that that are really nourishing and nurturing but that allows you to actually participate in this with us as well because your presence is really lovely and um i i can tell christian would love to have you <laughs> i am projecting this <laughs> I'm projecting right now but i feel like oh, we would all love to have you join us if it aligns for you <laughs> that's great no i love i appreciate that too like i just said something about the cold and the raw that it wasn't it wasn't yeah. Vibing, you know yeah totally yeah. yeah and also a lot of uh hot herbal teas um yeah. i plan to be doing as well so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah a lot of nutrients and herbal teas 
in the book is some elixirs as well. And then mm -hmm. also I was thinking just to add on to that, because I would love your presence as well for all of those reasons is, you know, maybe you're just eliminating some things mm -hmm. that you've been wanting to eliminate and you don't make even too many, you know, maybe you add broths and you eliminate something. And for you, it's still a shift and it brings you the opportunity to dive into that mindfulness and, mm. you know, and just, an awareness of the food and how it relates to your body and the experience you want to have and maybe a recalibration on whatever level that is for you that sounds one that sounds great mm -hmm. yeah because i do need a re i do need there's it's a it's a it's an interesting mix of yin and yang mm -hmm. like on the one hand i'm wanting things to allow them to take their course and on the other hand, um, there are things that I need to, that I would like to, re I should say, I would like to restructure in my life. You know, I have been, um, you know, working with grief through, through overeating, you know, um, and it typically happens in the evening, right? Where it's just like, okay, um, I'm sitting down and I'm just, there's a desire to consume. So that quality of, like, I don't want to do anything on weight loss right now, just because it, it's not, it doesn't feel the time for me, even though that seems to be something that would definitely be interested in, in spring, but shifting my, I, I, I com I commit to shifting my, my habitual way to, of eating right now, um, which isn't terrible, right? But it's, but it's enough to know, like, this is an addictive thing right now. And this is something that's being trying to be to, to um, be fixed, if that makes sense. Or um, yeah, it's like a placeholder for the real, the real stuff. Um, meaning, yeah, it's a way of getting by as opposed to just sitting down and like feeling what I need to feel or writing or reading or reaching out, those sorts of things. So um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's what I would like to do. And I will, and I'll sit down, look at your sheet again. And I actually could use a, since I lost the computer, I lost a lot of my signal stuff. Just, if you could send me that link again, that would be awesome. Just for the, the book. I mean, I've gone through it once, but I need to, to look at it again, just so I can st start to structure it in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I just sent the link just a few days ago. So it's still being just <laughs> good. And I, <clears throat> Yeah, I just wanted to add, um, yeah, first of all, fully support and accept your process. Um, um, and and just to play a little bit of devil's advocate, <laughs> or kind of in the in the lines of what's already been said. Um, you know, you're as you're saying, even like, oh, I'm going through this grieving and wintering, and I need to be nurturing myself. And I think what what especially this this as a juice cleanse, um, as is even Julian said, this is the most dense nutrient food you could get at one time. So it's really a beautiful way of actually loving your body and loving yourself. The cold part, it's a little especially when it's cold outside. It's not. Um, and yeah, we said that before you showed up. But this is not the ideal time for a juice cleanse. Uh, mm -hmm. I decided to start. I wanted to do it because. And again, I already said that, but I haven't done one in two years. And I used to do that two to four times a year. Uh, and I really feel like I need it. And I have this space right now where I could do it. I don't know where I'm going to be in the spring. I might be nomadic again and traveling a bunch. Uh, I don't know what the year is holds for me. I know I have this time now. I want to take advantage of it. Um, and so yeah all like you could stop sugar and just quit sugar and quit uh stuff like that and and still be part of the process in, in like a choose your own adventure i think you added uh, recipes in the book there which were like vitamix soups and stuff like that uh that you can make those and if she hasn't i'm sure we can find more of those so you can actually do do a different type of more wintering cleanse uh, with broths and stuff like that. Um, but it is a beautiful way of loving and nurturing yourself as you're going through hard times. And you also get to do it with other people too. So mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of my little attempt to try to change your mind a little bit. <laughs> uh, Thank you.
I'm so sorry. I have to hop off because I have to get my car towed over to the mechanic. So oh, well, the hey, company has, they haven't called me back yet. And I need to follow up on that because the day's moving uh -huh. along and the mechanic's waiting. So thank you so much, Jillian. And I, I really look forward to being in this with you guys. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for putting it together, Christian. Yeah, totally. And we haven't committed to talk about how often we want to check in, but we'll we'll do that in a group and and oh. yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, definitely okay. checking in. Yeah, for being here and we'll, yeah, All right. we'll... Sorry, I have to hop off a little early, but I'll yeah. talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye, Jessica. Bye, Jessica. Yeah, I mean, we're at just a little bit over an hour, so we should probably wrap soon. Yeah, I will say I have to think more about five goals, but I'll tell you my one is to, um, because I'm not used to being ever under the weather, and so it's really strange for me to have like a, a cold at all, and let alone this one that has been in my system for like over 10 days now. It's I think it's almost two weeks. Um so I feel like it's this sense of vulnerability and uh, I want to get my health back on track. And I notice when I look at what I've been eating, like with the holidays, I definitely was not eating my normal, um, my normal kind of super healthy diet. And I haven't even been eating my daily salads for a couple of weeks. It's been probably since this came on as well and through the holidays. And so I need to just get back to doing my normal program, which is uh, being like, I would say I'm usually even through the winter, like 75% raw. Mm -hmm. And then my, my other food is um, some cooked soups, some cooked veggies, little grains, like really pretty clean most of the time. And I was juicing for a long time and I kind of got off the juicing boat when the winter came as well. And now it's raining and I'm not wanting to do juicing as well. Same thing, kind of like what Austin was saying. It doesn't feel like I want to do that, but, uh, and I've bought stuff to juice twice and just let it rot in the fridge and been doing other things and been busy and been, um, so I'm off my program. And so I mm -hmm. want to get back on my program and I will tuck some days of juicing in there. I'm not sure how long I will do that. I don't think I'm going to do a full water day or any, or I'm definitely not doing seven water days right now because um, I know what I've done four, and I needed to not be doing anything else during that time because my body was needed to just be resting and chilling and stuff. And I have a, a busy schedule right now with full work days with clients and stuff so I can't take that amount of time to go through that physical experience in the way that I really would want to um but I will do some juicing and I know for me like juicing I go a little bit through through that stuff but I wind up feeling really super energized a lot of the time from that and pretty functional so I can do that and anyway that's kind of my goal and I don't necessarily have weight to lose but I feel like I have weight to move around a little um and inflammation to lose i feel like there's inflammation in my body that i need to correct so and that's that's a sign of toxicity so i feel like i could be doing more to uh, to get things moving through my system as well i feel sluggish in my system mm -hmm. yeah so that's it yeah yay Yay, fully support you. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've, I'm definitely terrified of my seven day commitment. So. It's a lot, it's a lot. And I, you know, you need to like, we'll check in during that time, but detoxification is no joke. When you start releasing toxins, you might not feel good because the, the crap is coming out through however it comes out, all different ways for different people. And so you, you know, just really dial into that and take it easy and don't do it too fast. And if it's not feeling, I mean, it's not supposed to feel good when toxins come out, but if it feels too much, ease off, you know, so, and you, yeah. can, do like, you can do, you can do it however you want. You can do water and you could do th three days of water and then juice for two days and then another three days of water or something like that, you know, just to kind of, just you feel into it is all I'm saying.
Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And thank you so much for uh, the support because, yeah, I'm promised to listen to my body and to not overdo it.